Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to the Hive. In this quick tips video, I'm going to show you how to set up Home Assistant to provide a separate sensor based on the attribute of an entity that doesn't directly expose that attribute. I'm going to try to get it done in under five minutes. So let's not waste any more time talking about it and let's get started. There's some details we need to collect about the entity before we start. So to do that, we're going to go to Home Assistant and we're going to go to the developer tools and I've already searched for this switch.tp link entity. And the attribute that I'm after is this current power in watts in this attributes column. So I'm going to take note of both of these, switch.tp link and current power underscore W. So I've already mounted the config folder of my Home Assistant instance and I've opened that up in Visual Studio Code and I'm looking at my configuration.yaml file. Now I've already created a couple of template sensors here for the sun angle and the next rising. So the first thing worth noting is we're in the sensors domain and we are using the platform type of template. And we can either put in another platform template or we can just keep adding more. And in this case, I'm just going to keep adding more. I'm going to put in TP link underscore power underscore W and then I'm going to go down indent to friendly underscore name and I'm going to call this TP link power consumption and unit underscore of underscore measurement is in quotes watts uh, and that needs to have a colon and we're going to put in value underscore template and this is where it gets a bit tricky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the quotes, pretty much copy what's above. So inside quotes, I'm going to put two open and two closed curly braces, and then I want space state underscore ATTR, so state underscore attribute. And then inside some normal parentheses, I want inside quotes and then a comma and then more quotes. So now I want the entity ID, which was switch.tp link. And we'll pop back over to Home Assistant and I want current underscore power underscore W. So I'll put that inside here, current underscore power underscore W. So what we're looking for is the entity and then the attribute that we're trying to get. The last thing that I want to do here is I want to create a unique underscore ID. And for that unique ID, I'm just going to put in TP link power. So while we're here, I'm going to copy and paste some others that I have prepared earlier. So again, all we're doing here is I'm looking at say the ensuite exhaust fan power consumption. We have the unit of measurement is still watts and the value template is state attributes and we're looking at the switch and then the plug, and then the attribute that I'm pulling is load underscore power. Now, if we wanted to, we could also grab things like the voltage or the current amps. So now that we've added those to the configuration.yaml, I'm going to save that file, pop back over to Home Assistant, go to the configuration menu, scroll down to server controls and check configuration. We want configuration valid and we'll hit restart. Okay, great. So now Home Assistant has started back up and we can see that we have our TP-Link power consumption at 1.42 watts as a badge right up the top here. And then we've got those other entity, uh, template sensors that I created, for example, outside temperature, outside humidity and outside pressure. Now that we've got those individual template sensors created, that data is already being piped through to InfluxDB, which means that we can then use that data in Grafana to do data visualization. And if you haven't checked out my data visualization video just yet, 
check it out in the video description below. So that's it for creating template sensors. Let me know what you're planning to use for a template sensor in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. When you do hit subscribe, make sure to hit that bell icon at the same time so you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation, and I look forward to seeing you next time.